What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another episode of my Pokemon Y playthrough. Last episode we basically just caught an Eevee to evolve into a Sylveon um, and in the end it turns out it wasn't really one we liked because the stat it had, or the nature it had, sorry, reduced its, um, well it reduced its special attack stat and that's obviously what fairies use. I'm just going to connect to the internet quickly. Um, so I went away, and as you can see in the uh, party there, I did catch another Eevee. It took me a couple of hours, which is why you can see some extra hours added onto my playtime there. Um, and it's again, it's a female, which is what I really wanted. In fact, you can find Eevees fairly easily. Not, it's not super easy, but they're uh, fairly easily easy, easy to find. Um, but uh, wait, what are we doing in the PC? Go away. They're fairly easy to find Eevees in general, but the female are really hard to find. So we finally have our little Sylvia here, female Eevee. Swift, Quick Attack, Bite, Refresh, and it's see here at the, the top now, it has a Quiet Nature, which as you can see with the red on the special attack means it increases its special attack. It's not amazing at the moment because it's just an Eevee still, but yeah, should be pretty nice when it gets to a uh, Sylveon. So, uh, I got rid of Vivo uh, in the end, and we still have Binacle on the team, simply because Binacle is going to be very good for... Um, HM sleeve, you know, cut strength it knows already, so if we got rid of it now, we'd have to assign them to other team members, so we'll keep it for the moment until we get our last Pokemon, which I think we decided was Scrope. Um, I have to keep my eyes on when we can find a Scrope. Okay, and we're going to go straight into this cave here, because that's what we need to do, pretty much. Ah. So no, ah, uh, damn it, no bikes, no roller skates. We have to run. What's up, bro? You're, ne you're thinking of never leaving this place? Are you that a vain? This is a reflection cave, and you're thinking of never leaving it. This guy must be the vainest person I've ever heard of, if he w never wants to leave. What? Okay. What level we got here? Level 26. Okay, run away, Sylvia. Uh, we'll send out Chester, because he has a fighting type move, and, you know, he's generally a fighting type. Not, not really, but yeah. Ah, you know, you guys know what I mean. Sound attack. Might get a bit annoying if we now can't attack him, but we'll see. Oh, to Sleuth as well, that makes sure I can change my stats, is it? Yeah. Makes sure I can't change my stats up and down, but I don't really mind, so yeah. And it's lowering its defense, so we should be able to take it out with another Rock Smash, because that, you know, it's very helpful with the defense lowering, generally. That comes a Headbutt, and Chester's going to finish him off now. Aha, Rocky Helmet as well. That's very helpful now. Becoming a great help. Much better than Miracle Seed, because obviously Miracle Seed only applies when using grass type moves yourself, whereas Rocky Helmet sort of applies to everyone. Delta Rude to level 31. One step closer to Charizard, baby. One step closer to you. I told you I was going to sing it every time uh, Delta leveled up, but you know. Uh, you can see there on the bottom the screen I have an acquaintance now. That's because when I was trying to find an Eevee, I got a random battle uh, request from a, a passerby. So I thought, you yeah, know, why not? Let's battle this person. Uh, and they had like Mega Lucario, <laughs> so I was like face bomb because yeah, I just got destroyed. So that I, I wouldn't count that as a, pr a first, you know, battle online, since it was a double, it was a double battle as well. So yeah, run away! Aha! This is very helpful for Sylvia. It means you can actually keep her out, even though you know we have sort of wild Pokemon around. Uh, bum bum bum. What are we up here? We have a revive. Very helpful indeed. And you can see, because we're in a reflection cave, there are reflective walls, which, you know, makes a load of sense, apparently. Another carbink, I would assume. Or maybe another rock type. Yep, we have a rock and roller. Tis a rock and roller. Got a rock and roll with rock and roller. Rogging and rolling, rolling and rogging. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, what else we got down here, then? I don't know which way we have to go, so... Sup? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the strongest of them all? Well, it's me, obviously. Indeed, it is. Battle girl, Hedvig. <laughs> Hedvig, really? <laughs> uh, right, gun end. It's got a fro. And we have Sylvia, which is obviously not a great choice. Fro is huge, actually. Or fro. I say fro. It's fro. Fro is pretty damn big. So let's send out Squidette. See if uh, she can sort of do some damage there. There, little Squidette. Vital throw. Oh dear. Hopefully Squidette is faster. That would be a great help. Indeed it is. And it's going to do 
not much damage whatsoever. <laughs> Phase bomb, and the Vital Throw is going to take Squidette out. Oh well. Let's switch out to Delta then, I guess. Delta can do some stuff in it. We can go for a Ember. See how much that does. That's going to do... Oh, hardly anything. Did less than... Oh, really? That's Bulldoze. Okay, let's go for a Dragon Rage and lower our speed. Oh dear indeed. Oh dear indeed. Oh dear indeed. But thankfully we're still faster thanks to my super training. Woo! Bulldoze again. We should survive it. No, we didn't. Okay, apparently not. No. <laughs> apparently not. Apparently no maths is in, in this game at all. Uh, we'll send out... Not a more a lol. Send out Chester, I guess. Damn it. Let's use... Needle Arm. Boom. Indeed. Critical hit. Goodbye, throw. And guess what's coming up next? Sylvia's leveling up first, of course. She's always good. And we have a oh, Hall Lucha. I thought it might have been a, a Sork, but no, Hall Lucha. So I'm going to send out a Mora. Even though it's a fighting type, we can have ice against it, sort of thing. Or rock. Or no, ice. <laughs> One of those, I don't know. A Hall Lucha, there it is. Let's go for an Ancient Power, actually. It's probably a stronger move in general. It's going to take us out, I guess. Indeed, it did. Great. Sorry, Amora. And then we, yeah, we need to head back to the name rate at some point. I actually, know where it is now, thanks to um, just gener generally people telling me, I guess, in the comments. Uh, it's in the uh, some 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 Pokemon Center somewhere. I know what it. I know where it is. Just can't remember the name. My friend James is online. Yay! And Binacle is now okay. Almost gone. Go on, Water Gun. Yay! Like no damage whatsoever. Okay, let's just heal up. I guess uh, we should heal up Chester. Because he's what going to have to use Eric to take it out. Uh, and Rock Tomb is going to take us out. Indeed. Goodbye, Binacle. I want to keep Sylvia alive because Sylvia is awesome. Uh, so let's go for a... Ooh, it's a fighting flying type. So we can't exactly use Needle Arm or Rock Smash. Let's use Takedown. We haven't used that ever. So Unless the area Ace takes us out completely. Oh no, we survived that pretty well. Thank you, High Defense. Aha, Rocky Helmet, of course. P pretty decent damage there. Instead, this time, let's go for a Bite. See how much that does. Aerial Ace again. Shouldn't take us out at all. Almost did. Critical hit, that's why. And hopefully, with the Bites, we can take it out. No, we didn't. Oh, thank you very much, James. You gave me an experience point power level 1. I think that's good. <laughs> means we get extra experience from Horlucha, which is always good. Always good, as my reference. My reference? My reference? What? <laughs> oh, I give up with myself. Rock Tomb isn't going to do much damage. And we can then finish it off with a bite. Our speed has fallen in, though. But we were slower anyway, so... Air Relay shouldn't take us out unless he gets another critical hit, which would be sucky. A capture power level 1. Thank you again, James. <laughs> oh, you're being so nice to me. Oh, okay. Took out Rocky Howitt, took him out. Boosted, yes! Awesome. And Govinda gave me a nice. Thank you, Govinda. Um, yeah, let's just quickly head back to the entrance. Because we have no Pokemon, <laughs> pretty much. Make a quick pit stop back at the... Uh, I'm trying to think where... You know, the, the Pokemon Center there. I can't, I can't remember his name. Uh, Geosenge Town. Good, good, everyone. Let's go! Almost went to the back of the Pokemon Center then. That's not good. And here we are. Heal me up. Not not necessarily me, but my Pokemon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Indeed. Thank you. Let's get back out there before this experience point power level 1 fades, eh? Okay, let's use my bike. For some reason I find it easier to control the bike. Actually, no, wait. No, the bike bike flows better on the uh, circle pad. But for some reason I like using the D-pad to control it. I don't know why. Just used to using the D-pad, I guess, to run around. And there's a carbink. Carbink, go! No, it's Mr. Mime. Looking pretty damn creepy. And 
Sylvia can run away. Run away, Sylvia! And let's head up here first. See where this goes. Ha, an item. A nest ball. Might be helpful at some point. I guess we should really catch Pokemon because we have capture power, don't we? So next Pokemon we find will capture. Anything down here? Oh, Horde Battle. This is going to be brilliant. Because I just said I capture them. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Mr. Mime. Or Mr. Mime? Mime Jr., I mean. Come on, Sylvia. Let's see how much you can do. What have we got? Swift. Swift's going to affect them all, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good one, Sylvia. Can you get boosted experience for taking them all out at once? No. <laughs> Apparently not. One health point each time. Great. Double slap again. I wish if they were going to use the same move, they would just use them simultaneously. That would be pretty cool. Copycat, we're just going to use Swift. Or... No. Okay. It just copied its own friend, I guess. <laughs> okay, and finally we have a double slap. Survived them pretty well, did we not, Sylvia? Did we not? Go for another Swift. On all of them. See if we can take some out. Yep, took three of them out. Owned. Nice boosted experience there, Sylvia. Indeed. And we can then take those two out at once, which we get which means we'll get a little boost, but not too much for the next one. Confusion again. Too bad we couldn't take them all out at once, but oh well. And one more swift. No, that's a bite. Okay, that's good, didn't use it straight away. Swift again. Nice one, Sylvia. Boom. Goodbye, Mime Juniors. Owned. Nice boost experience. Chester Grid level 40, 44? 34, I mean. <laughs> good on you, Sylvia. Oh. No. Oh. What the fuck's this here? Oh, a Pokemon. That's awesome. Who is it? Ferroseed. Swoop down from above. A ferro seed swoop down from above. How is this possible? It's a ferro seed. Let's just run away. You know, it's a still grass type. Not gonna have any moves that are good against it. Uh, can't go over there. What have we got? Down here. A person here. Hello. Ace trainer. Oh, our first ace trainer is it of the game? Indeed, it is. Ace Trainer Monique. Or Monique. Mo Monique? I don't know. One of those. And we have a Doduo. Sylvia's going to be a badass, and she is going to run away. Not literally, she's just going to switch out to um, Amora. Yep, we're awesome like that. <sighs> Lovely. Lovely drink of Coke. Go on, Amora. Let's do this. Survive the uproar because you're a rock type. And then use an Aurora Beam. Uproar again. Still not going to do much damage. Aurora Beam. And there she goes, Doduo. There she goes. And level up for Aurora. Yay, 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 yay. And it's not got any moves, but Sylvia's good experience as well. And a Grand Bull. Switch out to Sylvia, and we can now, I guess, switch out to someone else. I mean, who's good against fairy types? Poison type moves, um, steel type moves, I guess, I think. Is it steel types that are good against fairy? I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows, people? Who knows? I should really have a chart with them on, but oh well. Let's switch out to Delta for this one, then. Because fairy is not very effective against fire, which is always good. Okie dokie, what have you got for me? Gramble? Charm. Good thing we're a special attacker, eh? Yeah, boy. Ember it. Unfortunately, fire doesn't burn fairies. Like, I, th I think it's really, but oh well. Oh well, this is how Game Freak said they were going to do it. Or intended it for to be do it. Or this is how Game Freak wanted to do it, I guess. Um, so that's you know, how Game Freak are going to do it. Game Freak, you know, they're very stubborn. And we can finish it off with a Fire Fang. Uh, just go for another Ember. Play it safe. 
Bye bye, Gramble. Should have really bought some more super potions when I was in the uh, Pokemon Center, but oh well. And Squidek with level 26. And Helioptile. Switch out to Sylvia again, and then we'll switch into. Uh, bi no, not Binacle. Not Binacle. Probably. I don't know. It's an electric normal type, so yeah, I guess Chester will do with his Rock Smash. I like how they introduce an electric normal types, rather than just being simple electric types. Allows for better sort of, uh, I don't know, type matchups, I guess. And I think they should do that for all the other types down at Normal Dragon. Should definitely be a Mega um, or a Mega or an Evolution or a Mega of Dunsparce, because that make a lot of sense. Just gain the Dragon type. That'd be awesome. Uh, and generally stuff like that I think would be pretty cool as well. So here's hoping to Generation 7 guys, only like 3 years. I'll be at university. Working, great. Silly good level 23. Also learn Covet, yes I love Covet. Is that a fairy type move? No it's a normal type move. I think it'd be fairy though, but oh well. Covet is one of my favourite uh, moves in the whole freaking game. 40, 60. And this is a 60. No, well, yeah, we'll get rid of Quick Attack because I love Cover. Uh, I remember in Fire and Leaf Green, which was my first Pokemon games, I had a Snorlax, and that Snorlax uh, no new Cover, and I would always use it to train because Cover could have like 60 PP, I think, if you used PP Max on it. So that was really good for training Snorlax. I remember it to this day. I love it. Hmm. I wonder what's down here because it went further on. I hate caves because you have to choose a pathway in the majority of cases. Okay, what's this here? Okay, this is a wild Pokemon, but uh, we want to see what's in the Pokeball, really. There's Carbink. Run away, Sylvia, run away. Carbink is a rock fairy type, and we already have uh, a rock type on our team. Or two if you can't Binacle, really. So we don't need it. A Moonstone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we should really give. That's Jack. I can't remember who James is. Jacob. J Nick. Uh, Govinda. Imran. Who gave me powers? I want to see. Is it James? But he's not on anymore. Damn it! I was gonna give him some powers. I mean, my first use of powers. But alas, it was not to be. And who may this be? It is a. Rock and Roller! Boom, boom. I like the uh, I like the theme tune for the Wild Pokemon Battle music. It's pretty decent, especially since I was there for two hours last night. <laughs> Trying to, you know, just hearing it over and over again. <laughs> Didn't get too bored of it. Oh, a Wild Pokemon. Who could this be? Is it another Ferris Seed? No, it's a, it's a Woobat. A Wild Woobat. So we shall run away. Yep, you heard me. We're going to run away. Alas, we are running away. Uh, and we'll go downstairs, I guess. Just wanted to check what was up there, really. Oh, who are you? Yay, you get to heal up. Boom, boom. Pretty damn decent. Oh, that's, uh, I thought it might be new, uh, like, an opposite uh, direction pathway thing, but no. Oh, well, that's, that's nice, isn't it? You left your fiancé behind and just decided to come yourself. Another vain person, I guess. Only wants to look at herself in the mirror, not her fiancé. Uh, Nidorina. We haven't even seen the Nidoran yet. Okay, and uh, we shall switch out to Squidette. Because it has, you know, Psybeam. Not Psywave, because Psywave sucks. Psybeam. Fury Swipes. Six. Seven, six, six, seven. So yeah, six or seven. <laughs> it's just six or seven. No, six, seven. Okay. Uh, side beam. Let's go for it. Oh, someone just got owned. And another side beam. Let's hope it doesn't use fury swipes. It did indeed, but it shouldn't get six hits on us. So, or five hits. Sorry. Free, and that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, thank you very much. Sorry, let's go. 
Boom. Owned. Critical hit as well. Why couldn't you get one of those just now, really? Oh well. Tourist Monami. Really, is it that? Monami, my friend. Wow. Okay, what else we got down here? Oh, we have Tierno. Hey, Undergrowl. If you use the move Flash, not as many wild Pokemon will turn up. That's awesome. TM70 Flash. Boom. I kind of depend on Flash. Not very good at battling. <laughs> Uh, I guess this is the way we have to go then, since there was a scripted event there. So let's check out everywhere else. Indeed it was, because all that's up here is an item. And a slide area. And we have a black belt. Okay, that's cool. Raises the power of fighting type moves. We won't be using it though, because um, we've got, you know, Chester holding a rocky helmet. And he's the only fighting type on our team, really. Or the one that will be using fighting type moves. But bye Carbink. I know I could use Flash to, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Um, like evade the wild Pokemon, but uh, I don't really want to be teaching that to anyone on my team because Flash is a really useless move in battle. Just lowers accuracy. Come on, then. rest and recover already, and we're done. Oh, Horde battle time! Who could it be? It is Rog and Roller, which means we can't actually use take him out to get some extra experience because. Swift will hardly do any damage to them at all, so. Sorry, guys. Run away. Okie dokie. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Go past Tieno. Long hair. Okay, this is. Oh no, yeah. I was like, this is dead end. Oh no, wait, there's a, there's a ledge there, don't worry. It's Chingling. Chingling, you also need a son of a dude. Son of a dude! Goodbye, Chingling. Moha. I don't even know what that was the moment for a Mohaha, but oh well. What have we got here? An escape rope. Could be helpful at some point, but uh, I doubt it. Since we only used one for the whole of the game so far. Sup, bro? No, maybe not. Let's hide here. Ooh. Boom! Battle! Battle now! That's what he's like. Black Belt Igor. With a sork. There we are. There's the other one. <laughs> There's your Sork. He is huge. He is massive. He is Jumungus. Let's send out our Charmeleon Delta. Hopefully, he will not get owned. It's a trouble with training up Sylvia in this way. Double kick. Okay. And a dead. Oh, God. Okay. Did some pretty, pretty decent damage, to be fair. So, let's see what Ember does. Ember. Oh dear. If only it burnt it, and now Bulldozer is going to take us out. Yep, sorry Charmeleon. But these guys are way too OP. The only thing I have to do now is... Uh, well, we'll put Squidette out there, see what she can do. We're really underleveled with most of our team. Might take some time to uh, out to just catch Pokemon and... Okay. Uh, take some time to catch Pokemon and just get them leveled up, I guess. We'll have to see, though. I might not because as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to want to record another episode. That's how I work. And square has gone. So, yeah, last. <laughs> the only thing we have to do is to go to Chester. That's what it's always like. And now we wonder why Chester is such a high level. Needle arm, retaliate again. Critical hit that time, cool. We have a very high defense, obviously. Rocky helmet and needle arm. Goodbye, Sork. Yes, you better fall over, you noob. Sylvia's level 24 now. Good, good. Black Belt Eagle. Despair! Despair! Just quickly run back and heal up, I guess. Because otherwise, you know, <laughs> we're going to be screwed. Rock and Roller. And a Sylvia. Or an Eevee. It's going to evolve into a Sylveon. Which will be awesome. Okay. What do we have coming up? I don't What do we have coming up? I don't even know. Boom. Please heal me up. Rest and recover. Indeed. Okay. And let us continue onwards again. 
to con well, I don't think we'll complete the cave in this episode, otherwise it'd be really long, but yeah. We can make some more progress in this cave, at least get this floor done, I, I hope. And there's a Chingling again. Goodbye, Chingling. Goodbye. Runaway time. Okie dokie. Ignore this black bout since he's a noob. And we have a person here. A psychic. Uh, I, was about to, <laughs> I was about to say, Aye, oh, psychic, he sensed our presence, but no, he looked in a mirror. So, psychic Franz, and my friend Gavinia is online. Yay! Chime Cho is out here. Do we have bites? We could stay in for this one, I guess. We are about the same level. Let's see what bite does. Uproar. It's going to do some decent damage, unfortunately. Yep. Critical hit, that's why. <laughs> and we didn't do much damage at all. Let's heal up, and we'll see where that gets us. Because obviously Chime Cho is going to use another uproar, but hopefully it won't do as much damage as it did last time. Uproar again. Nope, see, it didn't do much at all. So let's go for another bite. Another uproar again. And yep, yeah, then we're going to have to heal up again or switch out, unless we get a critical hit. No, we did not. Chime Cho calmed down, but I still need to heal up though. Unfortunately. Okay. Super Potion. Indeed. Uproar again. Which means we can take it out after this turn. Yay! Come on then, Sylvia. Let's hit with a bite. Uproar again. <laughs> that noise isn't very nice, to be honest. And goodbye, Chime Cho. Yeah, to be honest, there's no good. There's no reason for to stay in with Sylvia. Just means the other Pokemon teams get, don't get as much experience. Galette. Uh, no, we're going to stay in. I mean, we could try and keep battling because it is a ghost type and we could get some good moves off on it. But no, we're going to switch out to Amora to use some um, ice moves. Go on, Amora. Shouldn't have anything good against us. Mega Punch is a normal type move, so we'll be cool there. So let's use Aurora Beam. And, haha, owned, Galette. Indeed you did. Get owned. Experience. Psychic Franz. Indeed it did. These psychics, eh? Hmm. What else have we got to do in this cave? Anything else at all? There's a person. I guess he wants to battle. That's a wild Pokemon, not a person. What could it be? Solosis. Sylvia's on low health, unfortunately. Better run away. And that's indeed what we did. Go. <laughs> it's going to be straight away. Oh, he, this, is the, this is the fiance of the person we battled earlier. Lol, 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 lol. As a Nidorino, yep. <laughs> to keep the references going, it has to be a Nidorino, obviously. Okay. And let's get switching out to Jellicent Gel Squidette. They are very similar Pokemon, to be fair. Both possess some sort of psychic ability with ghosts or, um, you know, psychicness. <laughs> uh, poison, unfortunately. Damn it. God damn it. Okay, let's hit it with a boom, 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 boom. Psybeam. Horn attack. Did some decent damage, to be fair. Let's see how much Psybeam does. Not as much as I would lower. Well, that's a pretty decent damage, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I think we can probably survive another Horn Attack. And hit it with another Side Beam. It's going to use Fury Attack, though, so that could screw up our plans. Seven. Come on, hit three times, please. Damn it. Damn it. Luck is not my side today, is it? Okay, who to send out, then? Uh, Amora, I guess, since, you know, it's going to be fairly easy to take out. Animora is one of the ones that needs experience, so let's go for Aurora Beam. Fury attack again. Not going to do much damage though, because we is a rock type. Oh yeah! Yep, we get the point now. Aurora Beam. And goodbye Nidorino. Haha! 
And we have level up for Amora. Level 28. Health points are looking very nice there. And Sylvia obviously leveled up as well. And wants to learn takedown. I guess we can forget a move. We can get rid of... Uh, nothing. No. No. Sylvia's not really one I want to be risking dying anyway. Or like being reckless with, I guess. One step close to Charizard, baby. I guess we can forget a move for Flame Burst. It's a special with 70. And that's a special with 40. So yeah, goodbye Ember. I know we have less PP now, but oh well. We don't usually get to finish it off anyway. <laughs> okay. Taurus Taruto. Indeed you cannot. Okay guys, so I think that's where I'm going to end it for this episode. Oh fine, we'll just see what this Pokemon is here. Just, you know, just to see. It's a Woobat. Okay, right guys, so that's where I'm going to end this episode. It's a bit longer than usual. Uh, obviously not as long as the last one though. But uh, yeah, did you like this episode guys? If you lasted to the end, say, you know, say so. Uh, and yeah, you can leave a like and a comment if you so wish. And if you want to, you can subscribe for more videos next time. So guys... Uh, I'm going to go and catch some Pokemon and level up my team a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.